Hi guys, welcome to another exciting episode here at If We Can Geek Them. It's another haul video, this time for November. So welcome back everyone and for everybody that's new to this channel at the end of every month I like to do a haul video now for November I am a little bit late there are there were like three packages that are missing with cool uh, books that I wanted to highlight but unfortunately they they're lost somewhere I don't I don't know I haven't seen them so they won't be featured on this video and I sort of delayed this for as long as possible so it actually came out in December Nonetheless, I have a bunch of cool stuff that I wanted to highlight. Stuff from October, if you can believe it. They're going to be featured here, as well as some November items and such. Now, there's one rule for this video. If you see something you like and you want me to do a future video on it, a review, a discussion, or something in between, let me know down below with the said title. And I will happily add it to the queue list and we'll work on it ASAP. Usually we begin these haul videos with manga because mangas are fun and it's all about that mango life. So we're gonna highlight some cool manga that I got. Unfortunately, it was supposed to be a much larger haul. First, let's start with this. We've got Berserk volumes 23 all the way up to 26. It was supposed to be the entirety of Berserk. Again, I'm sorry, they simply did not arrive for this video. I did a video on it. It is Dr. Stone. We've got Volume 1 and Volume 2, Prison School, Volume 11. And I have to give a big shout out to my friend Nelson for giving this to me. From Fanographic Books, this is uh, Inio Asana's manga Nijigahara Holograph. So thank you very much, Nelson. I cannot wait to dig into this because the premise sounds insanely good. And Asano is awesome. I am reading uh, Goodnight Poon Poon at the moment, and it is uh, freaking wonderful. So I cannot wait to read this, which has critical acclaim. There is some stuff I can't show in the. Oh, there we go. I cannot wait to check this book out. Uh, Nijigahara Holograph. Thank you, Nelson. That truly means a lot to me. Thank you so much, buddy. Uh, for uh, the Shonen Jump crowd, I went ahead and dip my toes into this uh, little manga. You may or may not know it. It's called One Piece and it's gigantic uh, internationally. So yeah, we've got the uh, three-in-one omnibus volumes, the first three, uh, the East Blue stuff. Uh, I will make a video soon on One Piece, similar to what I did with Berserk, that a lot of people appreciated. I'm going to do one with One Piece, because I have some things to say about this book, as well as the series overall. And I'm missing two volumes out of this little package here, but this is one of my current favorite shows, so I had to get, well, not the original source, material for you know uh, the manga version because it was a light novel it is that time i got reincarnated as a slime at volume one two three four five and six so yeah that's that's a lot of slime manga it's a fun funny series and i i, I really like the anime and i wanted um I'm not a fan of light novels per se, but I was really glad that they did a manga adaptation a few years ago. So I picked that up as well, and it is fantastic. Let's move on to some uh, Western comics with trade paperbacks. I did get Isola, or Isola, I don't know how you say it, from Brendan Fletcher and Carl Kershaw, Rick Remender, and Bengal's Death or Glory. Finally, because you saw the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Omnibus review. It's Infinity Countdown from Gary Dugan. Uh, this completes that Guardians Omnibus, which, uh, yeah, this could have. This is just five issues, five, six, seven. This is eight issues. Eight issues that could have been tacked on the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Omnibus from Dugan, and it would have been it would have been a much better reading experience overall, in my opinion. Let's move on to hardcovers. We've got BPRD Hell on Earth Volume 3. I love that they are releasing these items very quickly. Volume 4 is scheduled for the end of the year, and then Volume 5, I think, for like uh, 
February or something like that, and we'll be done, right? I think it's five volumes. I, I may be mistaken. Um, my sole omnibus purchase uh, for this haul, I should say, is the American Vampire Omnibus. I love American Vampire, one of my favorite Vertigo series, and this is a fantastic looking omnibus. I, I, I love this series so much. Check this out. I have already read this material, so I upgraded, and I will be doing a video eventually on it as well. And because uh, I have the first one, and it was pretty freaking awesome, I did a video on the first volume for it. This Deadly Class, the uh, library edition, or the oversized, or whatever you want to call it, it's the big ass uh, Deadly Class volume. This is volume two. Uh, I like this image better compared to the variant. Uh, that's it. it. There was supposed to be, you know, your uh, Silver Surfer omnibus, and uh, Mark Wade uh, Fantastic Four omnibus, and another omnibus I can't remember it was gonna be a pretty big haul but that's it for now we'll see each other for the last haul of 2018 per se but relax we still have some cool items to show you guys uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue with blu-rays and video games uh, for the switch I had to do it I played this game back in 1998 20 years have passed it is uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. It is fantastic. I love yellow. It is a dream come true, and I am loving every single second of it. Uh, so yeah, Blu-ray wise, let's go with a little Black Friday Cyber Monday action. I didn't. I don't have all of them simply because some shipped a little bit too late. But I did get for very very cheap money. Uh, finally, Planet Earth 2 on 4K, and it looks fantastic this is easily one of my favorite things of the year uh, that i've gotten uh, i've got uh here we go the greatest showman on 4k dunkirk finally got halloween by the way this is insane a 30 dollars movie at a, your local retailer this was seven dollars that is insane to me i don't know matrix uh some anime blu-rays as well that I got for cheap on Black Friday. Uh, High Q Season 1. Then we have Season 2. At Food Wars. I believe this is, yeah, this is the second season, second plate. Here's the first season. Umaru chan. This is pretty hilarious. I love this character. Squid Girl. Seasons 1, 2, and the OVAs, right, as well? And Flying Witch. I loved season one, so I had to get a uh, certain Magical Index season two and a certain Scientific Railgun S or season two, basically. All right, to end this haul, let's go with figures. Not a lot of figures, just pops. I, I think these are probably one of the last remaining pops in my wish list. I'm very happy that I have them for. To complete, I should say, my uh, Cowboy Bebop set, Ed and Ein, finally, because when the original Ed was solicited, uh, people assumed that Ein uh, was going to be in the packaging or released later, I don't know. And the actual original box did say, I have a video on my channel here that says um, Ed and Ein, um, the coding and stuff over down below but uh, they never released uh, the poor little doggy. So now, for the 20th anniversary, we do have, oh my god, the glare. We do have the two of them right there, and they look awesome. This was the blind buy, per se, I don't know. Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Ham, because he looked ridiculously funny. I love Spider-Ham, so I had to have him. I gotta give a shout out to you, my friend Jess Bragg, the Omni Dog himself, for helping me get this. This is, this is Anum Unrama, the Funko Pop specialty series for uh, Hellboy. Looking pretty snazzy. And this was a surprise because uh, <laughs> rarely do we see a character reveal and then merchandise right after. And that's exactly what Blizzard did with the latest Overwatch hero. This is Ash. And she immediately got a pop announcement, and before you knew it, it was already, uh, you could already pre-order it last month, and I did. So here it is. Ash, I don't know if you can see it, but there is my uh, Overwatch collection right there. I, I only collect like the main skin, so I'm really excited to add her 
to that uh, collection over there as well. So that, in a nutshell, is the condensed and uh, uh, neutered version of what would have been an epic Black Friday November haul. But regardless, we'll see each other again at the end of the year with the final haul of 2018. Guys, as always, if you want me to review a specific product, let me know down below what you want to see, what product you would like me to highlight on the comment section down below. Thank you, everybody that's new for uh, supporting and liking, subscribing to this channel and sharing content. I, I thank you so very much. You guys are the absolute best. God bless. I will catch all of you on our next episode.